Okay, welcome back to Neon Bourbon. So, we are gonna do a blind of big distilleries, barrel proof versions. So this is a distillery blind off. Um, yeah. So, we'll introduce the contestants and then I can explain more of our thought process here. Starting from this side, we have Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof bourbon. One of our favorite pours from Jack Daniels. So good. Just a, one of our favorite pours of bourbon in general. Yes, Always it's a bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> Always consistently good. Um, just a lot of lot of flavor, especially for 129 proof. Okay. It does not drink that hot. And then we're gonna have Booker's. This is the Jim Beams, the flagship product right here. A Booker. This is the Apprentice Batch. Yeah. So seven year, 125 proof Apprentice Batch from Jim Beam. Booker's is always really, really good. Never great though. Yeah, it's not worth the hundred dollars, maybe. But we'll maybe see. Maybe worth hundred, but maybe not worth more yeah. than hundred. Uh, next over here, one of our most sentimental bottles, and in that term, one of our favorite bottles, Russell's 13. This is, of course, one of the uh, yearly releases, kind of yearly release, I'm, I'm confused when they release. Russell's 13, uh, this is 114.8 proof, 13 years old, yeah. so probably the oldest product here. And then <clears throat> next we're gonna have Four Roses. This is a single barrel barrel strength. This is OBSK, one of our favorite recipes. This got second place on our Four Roses barrel strength blind, so we thought that was fair enough to put it in here. It's uh, so a little bit lower proof, um, but it's still 118, 118 proof. Yeah. Uh, now coming this way, one of the most popular bottles, probably on the shelf, 132.2, 22A stag. Some would say the favorite. Maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, we love this bottle. I yeah. mean, this is the highest stag proof here, um, and we absolutely love this bottle. Like, I don't think you understand how much we love Stag. It's one of our favorite Buffalo Trace products. And then last but not least, well, not last. <laughs> last of the big ones. Yeah, last of the big ones. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We actually used a sample. This is, I think, what was one of C918. C918, which was super high proof and one of our favorites we've ever had to date. This is A124. We're not using A124, so don't get confused. So we also, among the big distilleries, we threw in couple, one craft distillery each. Yeah, a couple curveballs. Something we each had to pick for that we maybe might like more than the big six distilleries. I, of course, chose my favorite distillery of all time, Watson's Barrel Proof. This is a Benny store pick, 118.10 proof. This is a single barrel. And then for me, I don't know if you call it craft or not, but it's Old Rick. This is, uh, I guess, Good Times brand, mm -hmm. but it's MGP, and it comes in at seven years, 118 proof. So, MGP's flag, you know, an MGP product, right? So, will it, can MGP stand up to the big six or other craft? We'll see. Jared loves MGP. I'm a big MGP like, fan. Huge MGP. I, MGP. I hate to say that. That's like nails are chalkboard yeah. to some people, but every MGP I have, especially their proof offerings. Good. Yeah. So the way we're gonna go through this is. If you watch any of the previous blinds, which you haven't, go back and watch those. Yeah, there's so After many good ones. So many good ones. Yeah, we, we love, Our favorite love doing big blinds. Um, and this is one of the ones we've been really excited for. Like, I'm just so hyped about this video right now. Uh, but the way we do it is we each go through, we have, my wife came in and poured all of these for us. So we have the same A, which is gonna be on our left, and we have the same B, C, all the way till H on the right side here. We're gonna go through, we'll try it, we'll smell it, we'll drink it, we'll give it a score out of 50 each. Mm -hmm. Gives you a total score out of 100. And then we'll have a top eight uh, ranked, and then we'll probably choose the top three to four, depending on the scores. Mm -hmm. If it's close, maybe top five, whatever. We'll go back through those a second time, make sure we have the right score. Every now and then, they'll change their ranking there. Yeah, they usually, um, always wonder. Yeah, they usually change somewhat. Uh, but make sure we have our scoring nailed down, and then we'll reveal the answers. So I'm excited to get yeah, this. So which guys. distillery has the best barrel proof product? Let's find out. Let's make a pick real quick. I believe that Stag will win this one. I think it's either going to be Russell's or the Elijah Craig sample. The Elijah Craig sample. And I also think that I'm gonna be able to guess all these as I always say and never do. So we're gonna see if I can do it today. Jared is making his own guesses over here. I'll be keeping track of the scores. Let's get into this. Cheers, Cheers. to another blind. Hello. Mm. Um, if you guys don't know, we love oh barrel proof God. products, baby. Dude. These are some of our favorite products of all time on this top shelf. This is, uh, I don't even know what this could be. Like that is so much flavor, mm. mm -hmm. so well balanced, fruity, delicious, caramel. Like it has every sweet note you can think of mm -hmm. in any dessert ever is in this bottle. Yeah, my gosh, it's got some proof. I can <laughs> smell it. It's like, I took a big sniff and I get like, Ooh, my brain's tingling a little. <laughs> That's really, really good though. Oh man. That nose is gonna be hard to beat. It smells like candy. It smells like candy, agreed. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. 
The, okay. <laughs> that might be a rough one to start with. Out of 50? These are all getting like 48. <laughs> that might be a perfect pour. I'm making guesses. Side note, remember the year? Out of 50. I'm gonna go starting off with Surly Strong because I don't know if it can get better than that. 47. 49. Dude, that's just, like I would just close. I didn't want to go to that uh, second ranking. That might be a forty-nine for me. Yeah, honestly, the, the syrupy finish. Yeah. The oh. the mouthfeel, the warmth, but not burn. The complexity. I'm getting sugar. I'm getting fruit. I'm getting oak. I'm getting nut. I'm getting caramel, vanilla. I mean, you name it. It's like going to Ben and Jerry's and say, "Give me one of everything," and blend it together in a milkshake. That's gonna be hard to beat. Ninety-six for the first one. That's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> It's the highest score we've ever had a blind ever, I think. Yeah, 100%. Have we got it in the 90s before? Who are we going to be? Yeah. It's a little chocolatey, but it's faint. It's more fruit. It's strawberry covered, chocolate covered strawberry. Yeah. No, it's very faint. Agreed. Cinnamon and caramel mix really well together. It has a cinnamon caramel like that. It smells like a cinnamon roll um, with like some cream cheese icing on top mm -hmm. of it. It's really good. It it's does just, smell like 100 proof though coming off of yeah, the last one. It's just lower proof, lower amount of anything. That's a good palate though. Oh yeah. It's a delicious palate. Mm. That is the easiest, I, I don't wanna use the word smoothest. I hate like- Smooth is a terrible word in bourbon because it doesn't mean anything. It's overused. In this case, I wanna use the word smooth because super light, but flavor. Like there's no oh. burn. It is a good finish. definitely lower proof than the first one, but a ton of flavor. And it is so, it, it's almost like, this one almost burned a little, right? Mm -hmm. it, 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 that was high proof. I, that one it. is not gonna be accessible to any, by a lot of people. This one is more accessible as the barrel proof product. It's silky maybe is yeah. another word you could use for that. It almost is like a refreshing glass of milk or yeah. something. I don't know. I just have like- <laughs> That's a weird comparison, but it's right. Like, it's like a correct. refreshing glass of milk. I'm gonna get, that's hard to rate because it's it's so different than one, but really, really good. It's really good, but it's so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the exact <laughs> <laughs> It's just different, but it's not as, I would, I would rather have this one if I'm gonna choose, I think, so. I'm gonna go 44. I'll go 44 as well. 88, like that's a, like one of the best scores we've ever had in the blind. Okay, see. Hello chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> this smells like you put, you know Hershey syrup? Yeah. That's what it smells like. It's, it literally could be a glass. If it was, if the, if I was blinding them, yeah. it's like physically blind. <laughs> yeah. I would think this is Hershey syrup. It smells like, yeah, Nesquik, Hershey syrup, chocolate milk, milkshake, you named it. If you ever had a fresh chocolate milkshake, like at a diner or something, it's exactly what this smells like. With a little bit of like ice cream sweetness. Yeah. But chocolate yeah. is the front note. This smells like it, what it would smell like to be in the chocolate river and Charlie the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Augustus Goo getting sucked up the tube. That's what, it, that's what he smells like after he gets out. This is really, really good. This is like my palate. This smells like a Reese's cup on steroids. Also, in that movie, when they go to the river and he like takes his ladle and mm -hmm. scoops it up and they pours it. I always, like that is the, I want to pour that so bad. Here, try some of this, it'll do you good. You look starved to death. It's great. That's because it's mixed by waterfall. I mean, yeah. This is the closest thing. Yeah, that's true. This is the closest thing. It's good. A little nuttier. Yeah. It doesn't stand up in flavor or proof compared to the first two. Hmm. The nose was very one note, but good. And then, then the palate just didn't follow that one note and just kind of went flat. Compared to the first two, 39. I'm going to go 39. Yeah. yeah. 78. Yeah. D. This is actually similar to one in the nose. Lots of it, proof, lots of fruit. It's back up there. Almost a little oak. I, I do get a little oak there as well. The color, that's probably the darkest yeah. color. Yeah, uh, some like barrel sugars there coming through. Really, really good mm. though. I think the reason I didn't like, I, I, now that I'm smelling this one, see as much as it wasn't as sweet on the palate as the first two. Like yeah, the, no, no. We said candy, we said cinnamon roll, we did this one, we we're like, mm. eh. <laughs> Skip, just smell yeah. it, don't drink yeah. it. This one is much sweeter though. It smells like, uh, like gum almost, like fruit gum. Like it's very, yeah. very sugary. Yep. Some like sour patch kids maybe like that like without the sh sh sourness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a very different palate. Mm. But then it finishes with the fruit. Mm. Then it's man, it's changing. That is like an evolving palate. That's great. That deserves a second sip. That is so different. Wow. Ooh, man, it's good though. That's freaking crazy. I like that one because it changes so much. It's so dynamic and unique. And every single time I drink it, I'm gonna get different things. 
I'm not gonna get tired of drinking that one. Which that, that deserves a high score because of that. I think so. It's hard to pinpoint what that one is too. I'm gonna go 41. Oh, I was gonna hire that. I'm gonna 45. See, the thing about it is once that complexity wore off, I was just kind of left with um, not the best finish to me. Like the aftertaste, I don't like. It almost has an astringent fake taste to it to me at the very finish of it. But the rest of the palette and yeah. the experience is good. And I can see that. I need a little, it's so dynamic and crazy that I don't get enough. I, I understand. To pinpoint. Yeah. E. Oh man. Hello, mama. Mm. <laughs> Zooey mama. Zooey mama. Zooey mama. It's one of my favorite sayings of all time. I use that saying a lot. It's one of my favorite movies. Oh yeah, that's yeah. bourbon. Bourbon. It hits every note that classic bourbon should. Caramel, caramel. vanilla, oat, oh. caramel. I, I said caramel already, but. <laughs> Fruit too though. Yeah, it, it's so well-rounded. That is like the most well-rounded nose yet. Quintessential barrel proof bourbon nose. She burns a little. <coughs> Palace nose goes to nose. No. It lacks, like in general. I think it's 38. I think it's right there. I think it's my least favorite yet. Yeah, just the palette. I'm gonna go 41. F. Ooh. That is crazy. It's all fruit. Fruit salad. Mm -hmm. Literally like melons, Not strawberries. Any of the chocolate or dark notes we've had in the past no, few. No, none, none. Just fruit. A little raisin. It's good. Rich. That's very different than nose. Cupcake, palate. Like, it's very still, much cakey. Yeah, cakey. Yes. Sugar forward. Dessert forward. Mmm. Yeah. Berry compote with your pancakes. It's got that fruitiness, but it's also got that richness. I just, it's still lacking a little sweetness, a little like classic. It's not. Classic bourbon, vanillas and caramels. It's not okay. great. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna go an even 40 here. Yeah, I'm gonna go 40. I think that's fair. G. I'm less confident about my guesses. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. We'll see though, we'll see. G's <laughs> what I think it is. Yeah, hello. That one, that's Ooh. the most flavorful one. I'm gonna go and make my guess for that one. There's no way it cannot be what he's writing down. I'm not even gonna look what he's writing down, but I think I know exactly what he's I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think you do. That one's really, really, really good. It's a monster. Oh man, that's so good. Oh my gosh. Ah, mmm, man. You get cherries? Yeah. Yeah. That smells like wild turkey to me, but. I get fruitiness, but I'm not gonna, I don't wanna give you any hints. No, I just, it smells like a, a wild really turkey good. product. That's really good. That's amazing. It's, it's like the perfect well-rounded, it's still lower proof. But it's so just well-rounded, perfect bourbon. That might be the most well-rounded one we've had yet. Perfect. From the nose to the palate. We've had a couple of really good really noses, really good palates. Yeah. We've had, that might be everything perfect. Everything bagel. Well, that's gonna be a hard one to rank though. I wish there was more proof there. If they gave me 10 more proof, dude. That would be the, the best bourbons of all time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, 45. I'm gonna 46. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, that's, that's really, really wrong really good. about that at all. I only knock I have is we've just tried against 130 proofs. Does not smell high proof whatsoever. No proof there. I got well. a little bit. I got a little bit. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. H. Woo! Whoa! That was different. I am happy with my what I have wrote down for that though. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that was good. I'm gonna go 45. 45. I'm gonna 43. It's a little off, but it's still really good. Okay, so after round one, this is one of the most difficult blinds we've ever done. Yeah. For me, I've never experienced something that is so different. There's a couple outliers, um, but most of these are very, very good. A got 96, folks. And that was the one we started with, so it could be different. But we're gonna stay here. And so we're gonna rank these. I'll just tell you the scores, we'll put them up on the screen, Jared. A, 96 points, probably one of the highest scores ever had in Ever. Uh, B, 88, C, 78, D, 86, E, 79, F, 80, G, 91, H, 88. Our top five in order from fifth to first are D, H, B, G, A. <laughs> uh, A, B, D, H, uh, <laughs> A B D G H. Yep. yep, yep. I'm gonna go right to left here. We're just kind of this is probably Patreon too because this is gonna be a long time. But I'm putting this clip in because if you want to check out our full, you know, full uncut version on Patreon. So yeah, and when you have an eight sample blind, 
the behind the scenes is even funner. After each answer, I will reveal our guests and then also what the bottle is. Yep. So in last place was F. My guess was, oh, that's so off, ECBP. <laughs> I said stag. For F? Yeah. Bookers. So we're both wrong. Makes sense. Um, this Makes sense. is eighth place. I almost went four roses because it's so floral. It's not it very good. It smells like it's lilies not, and lilies. Like, like, we, when we came back and smelled this one, and if you watched it on Patreon, we were like, that's last place. Like as soon as we smelled it, like it, it's awful compared to our bottom three FEC. It's just astringent. It's floral. Mm -hmm. It's not Jim Beam at all. Jim Beam, if you're listening, watching this video, why don't you have better barrel proof options? Knob Creek Why? 9 single barrels are the best things you offer. Knob Creek 9 is better than this product. Yeah, we should have put that in instead of this. Are you just crazy? Give me something good. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Seventh place was what well, I guess was E. I guess four roses. E, I guess Wathens, even though I spelled it with a B, so it says Wathens. <laughs> Old Rick. No, mother hell. That's yours. So I technically won this because the one I selected is better than yours. Um, uh, that's really good now. It's so great. It. This is like really good, guys. Don't get me wrong. I think the palette's a lot let down. Yeah, the palette's a little bit more yeah, let down. Palette's like nuttiness. C, or sixth place. You guessed? Booker's. I guess Booker's as well. That's crazy. I guess the same thing. It's Wathens. I love Wathens. It's hard to stand up against these big boys that we have left up here, though. Like this is, I mean, those like the expected. Bottles, yeah, look at these bottles right here. Yeah, this is this is the expected bottom three and the expected top five without a question. This makes complete sense. To R two craft ish distilleries and then Booker's. Booker's, which is <laughs> terrible barrel proof offering. <laughs> it's fine. I can still read. Look how wet the paper. <laughs> 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 no, no, don't take the whiskey. Don't take the whiskey. I'm finishing that. Fifth place. H. H, I guess, Old Rick. It's not Old Rick. I know H, I guess, I put Old Rick. H is Elijah Craig. No! That's my wow. A. I had that an A. There's no way. I'm like done real feeling my guesses, I think, because there's no way we get any of these right. I'm going to keep going. This one's really good. It, it's just not great compared to the other ones. It could just be our palettes. We like, you know, of these. It does have like a very peanut nut. It oh, also no. makes sense that these four are higher. Like we love these four products. D is fourth place. I had Jack Daniels. I also said Jack Daniels single barrel oil proof and it's Jack Daniels single barrel Yeah, it's so <laughs> banana caramel. <laughs> it's there, nothing stands out in a blind more than a Jack Daniels product. Yeah, that was, um, you gotta find it real quick. There's D. And to me, that's so good. I'm so a banana though. I'm a fan of Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof, bourbon and rye. The problem with this product to me is it almost tastes fake. It almost has a fake taste to it. The palate does, yeah. The palate, and I don't, and the aftertaste kind of hurts my stomach. I don't know what it is about those products. I had the rye a couple minutes, well, an hour ago at this point, and it just kind of just, it tastes good. It just kind of hurts my stomach. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like some of the, the finishes on it. I don't know. That's still really good. I got fourth place behind these three bottles right it here. It has a ton of flavor, though. It does. It, it packs a punch. Third place was B. I had four roses. I said Wathens. It's four roses. Ooh, is it two in a row? Yeah, two in a row for you, man. Um, third place, this is a really good product. We have we said in a previous video, we did a list of allocated bottles that are worth hunting. We put that in there. Uh, Jared did. And we recently became Four Roses fanboys, and that is... One of the reasons I, why. Listen, I know some of you out there, before you saw our results, said, oh, Four Roses, that's going to be in last place. Yeah. Or bottom three, at least. Well, it's top three, guys. Stop sleeping on Four Roses single barrel barrel strength products. Agreed. It's $100 is so worth it for that bottle right there. That is, I would pay up to $110, $115 for it. And as easily findable it is as the distillery, it's worth going to the distillery if you're here for a trip or if you live close yep. to find those bottles. And I know there's better bottles out there than this one. Agreed. Now, the winner. I guessed, the winner's A, I guess Stag. I guessed Elijah Craig. It's Stag. Okay. So winner is Stag, second place was Russell's 13, mm. uh, which was uh, Russell Wait, is G. By no surprise. I guess the old Rick. G. For G, I guess. No, 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 no. Hold on. I guess Russell's 13 for G. Yeah, me too. Yeah, okay. I guess these two, and I guess that one correctly. A is so stag forward. 
we love that product. We said it was the favorite going in. Both of us did, and it won. It is this so sad going back to it. It's probably the most confident I've ever been in a blind ranking that we've done yet. First place, first place. This stag right here, this is 22A. Again, batches I very much know are very different. It's so, so Dude. stag. We gave this 96 points the first rip. Like off the rip, it's not even close to anything else. Honestly, I think it could be a 98 or. Put it, put it next to the Russell's. Yeah, I mean, it's really close. I, when I, we drank Russell's, we said, I said, I knew it was Russell's. I guess that off rip first time. I love Russell's, I know that product. I said, it's lower proof. Mm -hmm. It's having a hard time competing with you did, you did. this. It's classic though. There's nothing more like classic than Russell's 13. Like this is almost too much flavor for some people. If this had 10 proof points more. It would beat it. It would be probably one of the best pours of bourbon. A is so good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed that, that, well, that Buffalo Trace won this bot. I am a little upset. But they have the best barrel proof products on the market, period. Mm -hmm. No, no one can close. This is if this is this is probably the best chance Wild Turkey had. What what's a better product? Maybe Masters. There's not, that's not barrel proof, are they? Maybe the single rig. That's the single that's rig. Single rig barrel proof. What, what's that proof of that? One twelve. It's lower. Wild Turkey. Up your proof, dude. I don't care if they age it for twenty five years. I will buy it if it's one hundred twenty plus proof. Don't care. There's not a single Wild Turkey product that's above you 116 proof. You're proof. getting beat by a 70, well, how much is Retail? Yeah. 55? You're getting beat by a $55 bottle. Three times the amount right here, because you won't up your proof. Up the proof. Four roses. You're, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> we don't expect much of you. You're, you're, Jack Daniels. That's 130 proof. This should be better than this. It's, it's the second highest proof we got fourth place. It's pretty, it's where I thought it would place. Yeah. What are you doing? Tree. We tried the best larger crack we've this, ever had and it didn't even come I, When I reviewed this in a short, I said this might beat C923. And it got in fifth place. Walton, you're doing great, buddy. You're doing good. You're doing great. Roll Rick, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. You weren't even supposed to be here. Yeah. You're the play in of the play in of the yeah. play in. Yeah, you're doing. And this bottle, once we spawned it, once we revealed it, was better than we remembered. Better remember. Bunkers, get out of here, dude. 100 bucks? Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really, really fun video to film. I love trying all of these. This is like our, some of our favorite products we've had in a long time. This is probably the best blind we've done in a long time. This beat the Four Roses blind because there's stuff that beat the Four Roses, they got second place. Yeah, this is our most expensive blind. Yeah, by far. There's there's products here. We are proof hounds. I hate that word and I hate being called that. Yeah. We are though. Like these I, are- I don't ever, some of the don't ever use that again. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you can see the final results on the screen right here, but just to, you, a little recap. In last place, we have Booker's, then Old Rick, then Wathen's Real Proof, Logic and Real Proof, C918. This is a replacement bottle. We have the sample. Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof uh, Bourbon. Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength. Russell's 13, one of our most sentimental pours of all. <laughs> Second place was Russell's 13, one of the most sentimental bottles we own. First place, Stag Junior. Oh, hell the king. <laughs> you just, how, when did I pour that out? When did that come just, out of my glass? Just now, I think. Just now, I think. This has been the most ridiculous <laughs> video we've ever filmed in our lives. Yeah, this stag, batch 22A, 132 proof. It beat 32.2 proof. It beat the best offering that we could compare it to from every distillery we can come up with. Would you, uh, we might have to compare that one to WLW and Thomas H. Handy. Like that's how good that product was. It we get that at 96. It would be at least one of those probably. Yeah, I agree. So anyway, cheers. Thank you guys for watching. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know what you guys would rank these and what would your, if you would like compete something against Stag or any of these products, let me know that bottle down in the comments below. We'll put that in the next blind. Cheers, we'll see you next week.